If you feel that your patio or your backyard needs a little bit of a makeover, just as I did recently, then I'm sure you'll really enjoy this video. I'll be sharing my before and after footage, and I'll also be talking through my choice of pots and plants and also accessories. Hi, my name is Rona and I'm based in the UK. And on this channel, I help you learn about the wonderful world of flowers and floristry. So you may have seen me mention on Instagram that I was going to do this patio refresh and there were so many lovely comments and messages asking me to show the after photos that I thought I'd create this video. Now there's a couple of disclaimers. Firstly, I bought absolutely everything that I'm featuring this video and I'll put links to them below. Nothing was gifted, um, but I am open to gifts and sponsorship. And the second thing is, I know about floristry, but I'm not a gardening expert by any means. And I just want to um, mention that first of all, but I'm just going to show you what I've done to create a nicer space in our patio. So just as some background, we've been in this house for over 10 years now, and about five years ago, we had the garden redone but we've never been 100% happy with a patio area. And we very rarely, to be honest, go out and sit there because it just feels so, I don't know, just so uninviting. So whilst my husband was away on a cycling weekend in France, I thought I'd create a surprise for him. And after many, many trips to local garden centers and also some online orders, I, yeah, I came up with my idea of a purple, white, and a slight pink, a little bit of pink in there, um, color scheme. And I chose the pots and made sure that they matched roughly each other. Um, and yeah, I just really wanted to add a big splash of color to the area. So as you'll see, the patio slabs, paving slabs, could really do with a clean, um, but I couldn't do everything. So I thought that's for another day. Also, the pergola has a jasmine growing up beside it, and it must be the slowest growing jasmine in the world. It's hardly grown at all. But I did notice when we had dinner outside last night that the flowers have started to bloom and the scent was incredible. So here's the before footage. So let's start off with the containers. I found some wonderful rustic rib pots and troughs and bought them in different sizes. I also bought some pots from the Q. They are actually plastic, but I loved the texture on the outside and the color. And I also ordered some galvanized troughs and they came via Crocus Online. With regards to the planting, I knew that I wanted to really soften up the area. There were so many hard lines with the building and the pergola and the paving stones. So this is what the area looks like afterwards with all the planting and I'll be honest, I had lots of help with the planting up.
In our garden, we're very overlooked by our neighbours and I just wanted to find one place where we could sit privately and nobody would be able to see us. And that's why I decided to take two of the garden chairs which are in another part of the garden and move them up to this area just outside the back door. And I really love sitting there now. Um, and so much so that after being inspired by a YouTube video, I've actually ordered an outdoor rug and that's arriving today and I can't wait to put the whole area together. So there's still work to be done, um, the patio needs cleaning and also I really want to change the table and benches because they definitely have seen better days and I really don't like the ready brownness of the wood with uh, contrasting with the pergola. I may also get some more solar festoon lights because I love having lights um, on in the garden in the evening and yeah I might add some more plants as well but it's a start which is the main thing and it's already made the area so much more inviting and a space that we really want to spend time. Um, yeah so I'm really really happy with how everything's turned out and, and only wish I'd done it sooner so I hope you've been inspired to spruce up your patio or backyard area and I've given you some ideas don't forget there are links to as much as I can below and if not I'll put some substitute links and if you would love to find out which flowers are in season which cut flowers are in season in the month of June do make sure you watch this video